As an overweight man in my 50s, I can tell you now that I do not cycle to lose weight. And as for cycling for fitness, well, that's only a very small part of a much bigger story. The long and short of it is that us overweight men in our 50s cycle for pretty much one reason, and that is because we enjoy it. And it really is as simple as that. If you want to go into some slightly more detail, there are plenty of reasons why we enjoy it. Uh, obviously, yes, fitness does play a major role, and, and, and obviously when you're sort of in your 50s and overweight, you do need to do something to, to kind of just improve your fitness and stuff. As you get older, uh, you do run the risk of uh, you know, some of these sort of more age-related health conditions and anything you can do to kind of slow that down or offset it by exercise or by diet, that, that can only help. Like I say, the, the main reason why I personally cycle is because I enjoy it. It's really, really good just to make me feel good and, and mental health these days cannot be underestimated, particularly at a time like now when everybody's pretty miserable due to the cost of living crisis and all the other horrible things that are going on in the world and just being able to go out on the bike and have some you time and do something that you enjoy is going to be absolutely wonderful for your mental health. It's not going to change anything obviously but it, it can give you a different perspective on things. It can just allow you to have a bit of a breather think about something else and then when you come back to it or come back to normal life then you do have a little bit of a, a different perspective on things. But riding the bike to feel good isn't just about escaping the real world, it's also about actually going out and enjoying the real world. So for me personally, uh, I spend a lot of time working at home making these videos and if I didn't make a conscious effort sometimes to to put down the uh, the pen or you know switch off my computer, then I could easily not leave the house for literally days on end. And getting on a bike allows me to do that. It allows me to go out, enjoy the great outdoors. It gives me an opportunity to enjoy the fantastic countryside that I've got all around me. And when the weather's nice, it's a fantastic opportunity for me to enjoy that as well. And indeed, when the weather's not so nice, it's it's an opportunity to enjoy that. It doesn't have to be sunny and warm. It, I also enjoy the, the, the cooler autumnal days and, and even the winter kind of damp conditions at times. It's, it's just really nice to be able to go out and experience that firsthand on the bike in the real world. Another reason that many of us who are overweight and over 50 go out and cycle is to take ourselves out of our comfort zones. Again, when you're sat in the house uh, watching TV or just sitting around with the family and stuff, it's very easy to fall into a very comfortable state of living. And if you don't challenge yourself from time to time, then life can get a little bit dull. And for me, going out, riding a bike, being able to, to cycle 50, 60, 70 kilometers, or being able to go out and do a particular climb, or ride at a particular average speed, that's, that's all taking me out of my comfort zone. And it's, it's fantastic to be able to achieve those challenges. And it gives you a real good feeling of, of just you know what you are able to do. Uh, and sometimes you kind of really surprise yourself. And if you do your rides with other people, then it is an absolutely fantastic way of just being social and having contact with other people. Again, sometimes, you know, when you're sat here in the house on your own working or just 
you know, doing whatever you do in the house on your own, uh, we all need company from time to time. And going out and meeting friends and doing a ride is just a great way of having that social contact. And because you are on the bike, uh, it's, it's particularly good to make new friends as well, because if you don't know them all that well, at least you have the bikes and the rides to talk about. You do have a common kind of, uh, you know, you, you have the, the bikes and things in common. And, you know, anything is going to be better than sitting around feeling sorry for yourself and, and just going out and riding the bike either by yourself or with other people is a great way to kind of get you out of that kind of frame of mind and that way of thinking. Doing something that makes you feel good and something that makes you feel good about your life is such good medicine. And when you do feel good and feel good about your life, then things just seem to be a lot easier in general. And I'm not just talking about things when you, you ride your bike, you're able to handle all of your other problems a little bit easier. Like I say, you do start to see things in a little bit more perspective. And it, you know, when you, you feel better in your head, that does transfer to your, your physical well-being as well. And like, like, as we all know, riding a bike is, is great physical exercise, but the, the, the benefits that, that feeling good can have on your actual physical body shouldn't be underestimated either. If you feel miserable, then you are much more likely to be susceptible to illnesses and colds. And if you haven't noticed already, I've got a bit of a cold, which is why I'm doing this video indoors today and not actually out riding the bike. But yeah, I mean, if, if you feel good, then uh, you, 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 you know, you're, you're, you feel healthier. And when you feel healthier, you, you, you know, chances are that you are generally a little bit healthier than people that, that don't feel uh, quite that way. And it can also lead to other benefits such as slowing down the aging process and just just giving you just that extra kind of zest for life and just enjoying yourself. So when people ask you why you cycle, they, they usually think, oh, well, he, he thinks he's in the Tour de France or he's uh, some kind of weekend warrior out to prove something. And, and you know, there may be well an element of that with some people who want to go out and prove things to other people but uh, you know if, if you're a person who rides their bike and you're over 50 then I think you're all going to understand that we don't just ride our bikes to, to, to you know lose weight we don't ride our bikes purely for fitness it's it really is about the fun and the the extra benefits that riding our bike can give us So if you are over 50 or overweight or even over 50 and overweight and you'd like to start cycling to get some of these fantastic benefits that cycling can give you but you don't quite know how to go about it then if you click on the video just here I show you exactly how to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.